Farmhouse rats it is. Uh, I don't even think we need... Yeah, man. We don't need nothing. We can just... Bam! There we go. That was way too easy. We've been getting a level out of it, which is nice. Take the animal skin. Some gold, a dagger. I'll oh, take the potion of recovery. Okay. Nothing of value at all, except secret passage. What's up? Boom! Buckler of strength. Ho ho! Ho ho ho! And this is why we scavenge everywhere. Alright, a shield goes there. Look at that. And we get some money too. That was nice. That that makes me really happy. Alright. And those those uh secret passages aren't too bad either. I mean they're starting to get to the point now where they're sort of visible but not too visible. Ooh. If we're gonna do this, we should totally uh do a thing. Um Maybe a little bit of endurance isn't too far from, like, you know, it might be a good idea to increase one's health just a smidge. Um, earth discipline. Hmm. Lightning discipline. Shadow Walker's focus. No. Well, none of those higher up skills are really that important. And because we are going for a melee build. We might want to just uh, up blade training. You know? Um, I'm going to do that and that, I think, today. That is what we shall do. Um, the healing focus is not a bad idea. I don't think. But for now, I'm happy with that. Uh, endurance. Yeah, a little bit more endurance. It's absolutely acceptable, I think. You're at the outskirts of a small colony, still surprisingly populated given the violence of late. There is a large inn on the river bank. A prosperous workshop is just to the north. There are crude palisades set up around the settlement, but no guards. Perhaps the sentries fled when they saw you coming. A thin line of smoke rises from the inn's chimney. Someone here is open for business. Alright, let's see who we can kill. Oh, the might of Avedon. Well, first, let's look around. Find where the guards and bandits may or may not be. Okay. Nice little inn you have here. We take no part in the war. Any who bear steel will be thrown out. Okay. That's pleasant. Outpost farmer. Making sure I can't steal the bolts of cloth. Okay. It's just that you go to the workshop or the inn for help. Well, that's not so bad. Into the inn we go. Alright, let's see what we can get here. There's a huge old... This is a huge old inn, perhaps daring even... Stating even to before the Black Age, when the contested lands became contested in the first place. The oak timbers overhead are stained with ten thousand layers of soot, and the wood underneath your feet uh, has ruts worn into it by the feet of countless travelers. And yet you are the only customer. The innkeeper seems thrilled to see you until he realizes that there is a hand of Avedon in his establishment. Still, a customer is a customer. He says... I am Shunar of the Kva. Welcome to the Riverside Inn, an establishment with a long history which I hope is not about to end. Okay, tell me about this inn. The Riverside Inn? My family came from the Kva to start this inn over two centuries ago. We have survived war, rebellion, wretches, and our own regret to provide merchant caravans with the most edible food on the free roads. You are from the Kva. I am, but more importantly, I am from the Pact. That is far more important to me than where my ancestors failed, hailed from. I think he's just saying that. How is business? Oh, it's marvelous. You hear that total silence? Nothing makes better music to an innkeeper's ears. All right, uh, what do you have for sale? Food and drink, a few odd items passing merchants traded to me, and brooms, of course. Well, uh, let me see the menu. Oh, not bad. 
Not bad at all. I could potentially... Ooh, I'll definitely have a wine. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, too bad you can't use wine and ale. Well, they should fix that. Uh, can I sell something to you? Ooh. Yeah. Can I see the items you obtained? Ooh, a lockpick. Alright, I'll take the lockpick. Call me crazy. Chirurgeons. 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 Chirurgeons tunic. No, no, no. We don't need a chirurgeons tunic. Um, a bag of coal, hey? You don't say. Nothing really stands out. I'd like a room. Hands of Avedon never have to pay to stay in my establishment, though we clearly wish that they did. There's an unlocked room upstairs. Okay. Thank you. Any odd jobs? Shannar goes to the window and looks out to the east. He points to the woods there. Rats. Rats? Packs of them. Not your ordinary rodents. Huge, feral, violent things. And no bounty hunters have been through to hunt them for months. I know it's beneath you, but if you killed them, I would give you something quite useful as a reward. Done. I would happily hunt rats. It's funny we've had to wait this long to fight them. I mean, this is an RPG. Come on, man. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to look through your chests. It's okay. I'm a hand of Avedon. You don't mind, do you? Oh, I didn't think you did. Some bread? Thank you. Why pay for it when I can just take it, right? Let's find that uh, room upstairs. Ooh. Oh, very nice. Nobody's watching, hey? Alright. Take the gold ring. And the leather jerkin. Beauty. Okay. And what do we have here? A way upstairs. Some board games and dice. Good, good. The games room, I guess. Alright. Um, pillows. Ooh, 75 gold. I will take it happily. But, ooh, more wine. There we go. 20 wine. That's not too shabby. <laughs> Is this. No. No. What's in here? Oh, two lockpicks to succeed. That's a little bit excessive, wouldn't you think? I mean, I can try it, but I feel like he'll probably just unlock the door for me as a gift after killing the rats. So let's do that instead. Yeah, this this looks good. Let's get out of here. <laughs> just me. That's okay. All right. Now let's try this area, and then we can go kill rats. And what have we got? Oh! Sawdust covers every surface in this workshop, and the air is heavy with the pleasant smell of freshly cut wood. The benches and tables on display are clearly, even to your untrained eye, very well made. The carpenter steps out from around the corner. Her dress is stained with varnish, and the tools hanging from her belt clang together. She's a young woman of the Wild Realm, and even though you clearly aren't a customer, she greets you warmly. Welcome, warrior. I am Tsukanya, and this is my workshop. I sense you aren't in the market for a stool, but I will help you with what I can. Well, tell me about your workshop. No secrets here. I learned to work wood when I was young. I have a natural affinity for it. When I came of age, I came here to ply my trade for the brave farmers that work these lands. Natural affinity. We of the Wild Realm spend all of our time in the woods. All of our homes and furniture are wood, not stone like the cruel raiders of Camaria. It is one of our honored crafts, and we are very good at it. How is business? Poor. I did sell a wagon wheel last month, though, so there's that. I'd like to see your wares. She politely shows them to you. Unsurprisingly, the stools and plows on display are not useful to your adventuring lifestyle. <laughs> um, I'd like to know more about these lands. Ah, the contested lands. Does anyone even remember the old name for this region? Rich hills and farmlands, and nobody can take advantage without risking getting their throat slit. Why did you come here? Because my tribe was large and crowded in its lands. I wanted to live in a more free land, a place where I had room to breathe. Alas, these days, this can be very risky. And what do you think of the rebellion? Nothing! In the contested lands, wise people keep their mouths shut about politics. 
We don't want to spill the blood of fellow members of the pact. We only wish to live our lives. You don't approve of the rebellion? Saying such a thing invites a visitor with a knife in the middle of the night. I am against the shedding of any blood, including mine. Okay, well, why are you still here? Because this is my land, my home. I am a member of the pact. I will not flee from pact lands, but I will not judge people who flee. A family we were close to recently left. For their safety, they are going to stay with family in the Kva. Before they left, they asked me to watch their farm. She shakes her head. And how is that going? Poorly. It is called Skyrise Farm. It is south across the river and then east. Some brigands have set up camp outside, and they are looting the few things of value that remained. The owners left me with a fund to pay for it to keep up the farm. If anyone drove off those brigands, I could compensate them for their time. Well, that sounds good. Skyrise Farm. Sounds like a blast. Anything of value? Nope. This really is a carpenter's shop, isn't it? Ooh. Take one lockpick to get that open. Seems rude. <laughs> Go away. Don't look. Who's this? Takanya's husband is wandering around the house, gathering and cleaning his weapons for a long hunt in the woods. He doesn't share his wife's friendly attitude towards visitors. When you approach him, he mutters something and moves to a different room. Uh-huh. Why did I even bother breaking in here? Get out of here, Taris. Taris, whatever your name is. There's nothing of value to me. Just... Really? Ah... Well, that's silly. I don't want to do that. Let's let's load. I don't want to waste a lock pick on something that silly. So apparently, not every locked door has a treasure behind it. Hmm, that's sad. Why pick the locks then? Weird. Okay, let's kill rats. Rat killing time, it's rat killing time, it's rat killing time. Ba ba ba. That's the rat killing jingle. Every good thing needs a jingle. Well known fact. Okay. What's this? Stones Honor Outpost. Outsiders, thieves, and spies. Ooh. Okay, we'll have to go there at some point. Even though it says outsiders, and I think I'm technically an outsider. Yeah, yeah, feral woods rat. How feral are you, oh feral woods rat? Okay, not very. Jeez, why are we even bothering with these people? I hope they give us something worthy of our time. Really? That was the bounty? Come on, there's gotta be at least one giant, massive rat. Or something of value. Lightning scroll? Okay. I love how these rats always scavenge the lightning scrolls. Okay. Well, there we go. Reeking rat. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Bam! You reek rat. Bam! Nice. Another reeking rat? Best to take those out first, I wager. Okay. There a woods rat. Nothing too special. Okay, this is the final rat area. I imagine we'll have... Something? Oh, gigantic rat beast. Oh, good. Good, good. I was hoping for a gigantic rat beast. We're going to build a flinger to fight the gigantic rat beast. So, to do that, we're going to go build a razor flinger. Ta da! Ta da da da! Okay. Move forward. Switch for one second. And take out that reeking rat. Okay, and you, my friend, are going to shadow charm yourself. Whoa! 